Are you serious? Are you serious? Let me just talk to you for a minute. The terrible tornadoes that's tearing through the land, the Lord told me was going to happen, prophesied it through me on, of course, December 31st, that it was going to happen, tearing through the land. But And uh, so we went with the 12 prophecies the Lord gave us. We just put them all down because he gave it to us live on the air in the anointing of the Spirit. But people, some people despise prophecy. Now, Harvest Army Church International out of the Bronx, New York, with its bishop, Dr. K.D. Collins, and Pastor Nando Evans and others, uh, prophesied live on television in New York City in their service on May the 5th, May the 5th, 2013, that a super major storm is going to hit the United States shortly. Um, they then uploaded it on their YouTube channel on May the 6th. I then uh, covered it and did a YouTube video on it on May the 8th. I went back to, to look when I did it. It's got, my, my video's got over 8,500 views where I shared with them, here's a prophecy, you better listen to what they're telling you because the Lord speaks to these people. And what happens? The, the tornadoes begin to happen on May uh, in Texas and in Oklahoma, and then, of course, the massive one that hit Oklahoma uh, on the, I believe it was the 20th or 21st. I'm, I'm off track here. I'm in Jerusalem. So basically, the prophecy came forth very quickly in about 10 or 11 days. When it first started, this superstorm of tornadoes started in Texas, and then the massive one that hit more Oklahoma. You might say, Pastor Bagley, I'm so, that's so vague. I'm so sick and tired of it. Then you need to read your Bible. And I'm, I'm saying this to you because some of you keep blowing off the word of God and you're going to find yourself in judgment without the grace of God because grace will be over. Don't just discount prophecy. And a lot of Christians don't want to hear about prophecy. And then they wonder why they're in the shape they're in half the time. It's because they don't pray, they don't read their Bible, and they won't listen to the preached word of God, and they don't even believe in prophecy. And God sends prophecy to help us. Let me tell you what the Bible says in, in Acts. I know I haven't preached in a while, really, at anybody here for about a week here in Jerusalem. And when I come back, I'm going to come back with some fervor and some... Hey, are you serious? You better be at my radio show Friday because I'm coming out of the gates. I'm telling you, I'm coming out of the gates of Jerusalem ready to take on the gates of hell. Now, calm down a minute. Everybody just calm down. I don't even have any coffee yet with me this morning. It's early. Here, wait, here's what it says in Acts chapter 13. I'm gonna, I'm, let me read to you what it says. Be it known unto you, Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man, talking about Jesus, through this man, excuse me, but it, I can't see very, be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. That's talking about Jesus, okay? And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses, okay? Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish. For I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe. Though a man declare it unto you. God's doing a work in his last days. He's doing a work. And you won't believe it. Even though the Lord says, uh, you will not, even though a man should declare it unto you or to preach it unto you or to prophesy it unto you. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. I'm getting ready to leave Jerusalem later today. And I'm telling you now, you want to give your life to the Lord. Time is running out.